Hello, this is Steve at GreenfieldHO.com. Very excited for this video today. I finally have my hydrogen compression setup almost complete. I say almost because I'm waiting on a couple parts. Still learning how to do this. I've had to buy a bunch of stuff to try different things. But um, I'm really close now and I want to show you my setup. So as you can see here, uh, in the last video we, we showed this cell and a reservoir and a power supply and we showed it working. And we showed you how easy it is to make hydrogen. Now what I've done is I've I've added three more generators, a larger power supply, a larger reservoir, and what we're going to do is we're going to use this setup for compressing hydrogen into this 100 gallon tank. We've got the compressor over here that we're going to use. But for this video I just wanted to show you the new system here and how it works actually. So before I plug it in I'll just go over the the uh, components here and how they're hooked up and how they work. Uh, you might want to go back if you don't understand you might want to go back to one of my earlier videos where we just have one cell and I show you how that's hooked up. But here this is what I'm going to show you. I'll show you how the water's hooked up first then the electrical and then all the other components that I have here. So on these cells there is a a water output and on the back, a water input. A little hard to see, but there's a water input on the back. So on the water output, water goes out, comes into our water reservoir. I've got two ports on this side, two ports on this side, and you can see they go to the output ports here on the PEM generators. Input ports, water input ports, uh, come up from the back and then they are hooked to the reservoir here on the bottom. Quickly, I'll tell you about the generators. The generators are a PEM style generator, which means that they have a basically a positive and negative plate. In between that plate, there's a membrane. On the membrane, it's coated with platinum and the platinum acts as the catalyst to make uh, the process work so this is using distilled water there's no additives in the water the catalyst is on the membrane in between the plates it's a solid membrane sometimes they call it SPE and then that's uh, that membrane is non permeable so Oxygen and the hydrogen can't commingle, they can't cross. So what you get is a very high purity of hydrogen, 99.95% coming out of these. So very pure, very easy for compression because you don't have to worry about the membrane being breached because it's non-permeable. So you're not going to get any oxygen into your hydrogen, so it makes it easy to compress. But um, you always want to, if you're going to do this, you're going to want an analyzer. This tells you how pure your hydrogen is. And the readout has, it goes up to 99.99%. So if you're going to do this, you always want to be safe because if you get down below 96.5%, it could become flammable. And then when you're compressing the gas, if you're below that point, you've got your bomb here. So if there's a spark or somehow it can get ignited, it will actually ignite the whole tank. But above that percentage, if hydrogen, there's not enough oxygen in it for it to burn. So it's safe to store above that purity, 96.5%, 97%. So we're shooting for about 98, 99, 99.5% to compress with. Okay, the electrical. What I have here is a, this is a 15 volt power supply 
and this is the part that I didn't calculate correctly. I initially bought a 12 volt and it wasn't enough power to get these going. Now there's a 15 volt. Still don't have quite enough power to get them going at uh, full power. For this demonstration, or probably in the next video, I'll be using this power supply. I think it puts out about one and a half liters per minute of hydrogen combined. When I get the 24 volt power supply, we can up this to over three liters a minute, which will be able to generate more gas and be able to compress faster. Down here, we have our hydrogen manifold. On the sides of the generators here, this is our hydrogen outputs all the way across. Those are going up into our manifold and then out the manifold here, up through this tube into our water gas separator. Now what you'll get is you'll get some water that forms on the hydrogen side. It's going to go up this tube, get caught here in the separator, and then the hydrogen will leave through this tube down into this canister here. And this, all this is is a dryer. This is gonna dry the gas off nicely so that we can use it for compression. On the bottom of the separator, you see there's a little float in there. The water will gather in here until the float raises and that will allow the water to go back in here and be dumped into the reservoir tank. Got a check valve here so that gases can't come back up into here and then get into the line. You don't want any other gases in the line but hydrogen. One thing also, the oxygen that's made by these comes out these ports with the water and the oxygen will bubble up through this reservoir tank and just out the top. Okay, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. You can hear the power supply running now. You can hear the bubbling. That's the bubbling of the oxygen. See it there? And then over here, if you look closely in the tube, you can see there's a little water there with the hydrogen. And that water is being forced up here into our water gas separator. The hydrogen actually comes out this port right here. So in the next video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our compressor here. And we use it as a, uh, we use this for compression and we can also use it to draw a vacuum. So I don't have a vacuum pump, but that's okay. This draws enough vacuum to evacuate our storage container here. We wanna evacuate all the gases out of this container all the oxygen, nitrogen, whatever's in there, we want to evacuate everything out so that when we put hydrogen into this tank, it'll just be pure hydrogen. So in that video, I'm gonna show you how to evacuate the tank, and then we'll also do a purity test. But before that, we're gonna fill this tank with 20 PSI of hydrogen, and then we're gonna do a purity test on it, see how much uh, impurities we have in the tank still. All right, this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's been a long time coming, but we're just about there, guys, just about there. This is Steve, thanks for watching.